talking about green screen tips. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, got a couple requests on some green screen tips in After Effects and I'm just gonna go a little bit over the basics of the techniques I like to use to try and get a good clean green screen. So let's not even mess around. Let's just jump right in once again. All right, here we are in After Effects and basically things I'm gonna talk about today is just how to get a good initial key. We can go through more advanced steps for the hard keys uh, if we ever need to. But this will be just getting into the settings um, that I like to use to get my good basic key, my good start, without having a, having a lot of noise or any sort of problems like that. And what we're going to have to deal with here is we have this shade of green, and then we have the background. Uh, this is actually tape put on there to use as motion tracking markers, and it's a different shade of color than the actual green screen in the studio we're in. So what I'm going to do first is get rid of that color with just a color key. And there's a lot of different ways to key green screen. These are just the steps I like to use to get started. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm holding command to take a larger pixel sample of the area. And I'm just going to take that dark green, move up to the tolerance, crank up a little bit. And just getting rid of all the markers. I don't really care much about the background right now because we're about to use key light for that. Take key light, drag it over, screen color. And again, I'm holding command to get a larger area around him. Click on that and boom, we're done. No, just kidding. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new solid. This blue color is fine. And what you can see, it might be hard to see with this color, but there's a little bit of noise left from our initial key. So um, with a couple of steps, we can clean that up no problem. I'm gonna go into the screen mat here. And instantly we can see if there's anything black, it's going to be either noisy or transparent. We want him to be completely white or opaque so we don't see any of this stuff behind him, whatever background we put in here. So all I'm going to do is take the screen color. I'm just going to move this around until I get a color that, let me move this over, that not only takes away from this background to make the background black, but I want him white. So... I'm just kind of fishing around to see the closest area without crushing it. And this looks pretty good. So I'm going to go right there. I hardly ever play with the screen gain or screen balance. Um, normally I also don't really use screen uh, pre-blur. But what I'm going to do is clip the whites. And you want to be careful. You don't want to do it too much because this can also bring in, again, more noise and crawling. Um, black is fine. I might shrink it just a little bit to help clean up the edges, make it a little soft for the edges again, and I'm replace the original color. And let's check our final results. And I'm going to RAM preview this really quick to see where we're at. Alright, so I did a little bit of RAM preview, and so we see a couple of problems that we're running into. First off, you got his neckline right here. And, and you know, I should be working at full screen, but I can't fit it for the screen recording. But uh, this basically will, if you work at 100%, it gives you more accurate results. But what we also have in here is we have a lot of his hat crawling. Might even go a little, yeah, a little bit crawling right there in the blacks right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my color channel here and maybe Maybe it'll it'll tell me a better color I should be picking. So let's see here. Again, just trying to bring that hat detail back in. And we're bringing a little bit of the markers back in, but that's no problem. Bring preview again really quick. Alright, so the edges are still crawling a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the colors a little bit more. And you can see as I go lighter. We're getting that banding and everything in the black area and also next to his face, so I want to go the opposite direction of that. And you can see that we're not fully transparent, so I'm going to bring the blacks down a little bit. All right, let's run a preview of that. All right, so basically just refining it right now. I might go back to the screen mat again. We've got a little, little bit of those blacks gone. 
We'll clip those blacks a little bit more. Let's see how our noise is doing in his hat. I'll preview again. All right, so we've already taken care of a lot of the issues, got rid of a lot of the uh, noise in his hat, stuff like that. Edges are still pretty ugly, like right along his neckline right here. Um, I like to use Edge Blur from Red Giant, but if you don't have that, it's no problem. You can use Matte Choker, kind of same concept, just bringing in the edges and soften them a little bit. And this is just playing around with the numbers and refining to what, what you like. Um, let's see. So we don't want to take away too much of too much of him. Let's see. We'll go with the 10 here. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, and right there we already have a pretty good start for any refinement we might need to do. Uh, that's the basics using key light. And if you have two different colors, some of the options you might want to try. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, get a hold of me on Facebook or uh, website, email, any of that stuff's great. Otherwise, um, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.